welcome or welcome back to my channel. This vlog is going to be a productive week in my life video. I haven't done a vlog about my personal life in such a long time and I used to love to vlog. I know a lot of people come here for my cat. So, hi Lily. Here she is, nice healthy. I don't think that she wants to be a part of the video, but if you hear any rattling in the background, just know that's her playing with my two of lipstick. If you haven't vlogged in a long time, it's just natural to have certain updates. So life update number one is I'm actually not a nanny anymore. Before the pandemic, I was a preschool teacher. Then all of the schools closed down and I accepted a nanny position. The woman got pregnant with her second child and became a stay-at-home mom. So my nanny services was not needed. And now I'm kind of like in the between stage looking for a full-time job. YouTube and brand deals have been holding me up for now, but I wanna look for something different. Side note, you guys, I am very, very picky. I don't like jobs that treat you like trash. I don't like jobs that don't have a good workplace culture. I don't like jobs that don't give you health insurance or for 401k or just like, just not good jobs. And I'm just so picky because I am a really, really hard worker. I'm very dedicated. And I feel like now that I have a degree and a couple years of professional experience, I deserve way, way better. So in this vlog, you're going to see a lot of productivity as well as working out and exercising. Fitness videos have been my number one requested video for like months now. The reason why I haven't been doing them is because I've tried to in the past, but every time I do like anything nutrition related, it kind of triggers my eating disorder. So I've been straying away from fitness videos and nutrition videos for that reason. Speaking about food, I have some coffee here with me. Sipping on a little coffee if you guys don't mind. Some people keep asking me like, why don't you go back to nannying for a different family? Or why don't you go back to preschooling? And the thing is, number one, they are very underpaid. Number two, it's a very stressful job. Number three, um, I'm so tired of working with kids. I used to really, really love working with kids, but I feel like after five years, it just hits you a little bit different. The fourth reason why I don't wanna go back to it is because I graduated college with a four-year degree during that time, so it's time to upgrade. Through that experience, one thing that I've learned is that you should never rely on one source of income. That being said, besides applying for nine to five jobs, I have also been looking for like things to do on the side to supplement my income. One thing that I haven't told a lot of people is that I've actually been trying to get into the voice over acting industry. Voice over acting comes in a lot of different forms. One thing that you can do is do commercials. You can do uh, cartoon voices. You could do audiobooks. Thank you for calling PetSmart. To speak to an advisor, please press one. For all other inquiries, please stay on the line. That is what a touch tone voice actor does. It's the voice actor that's on the voicemail, if that makes sense. And a lot of people actually need that service. And I wanna be that voice, guys. And I wanna be that voice so bad. So I actually got myself a microphone. <laughs> This week, I'm going to have to do a lot of voiceover work. And I'm going to take you guys along with me. I have a lot to do, so let's just get into it. Because I don't have a professional recording studio in my home, I am using this back closet as a soundproof recording space and I put fabric on the walls for less chance of echo. I found out that audiobook narrators can make around 600 to 1200 each book they complete and I think that is really good extra income for the type of work that they do. Lily! <laughs> what are you doing, Pi? What are you doing? Look at all these fuzzies, you guys. Well, this is my little setup and I'm going to start auditioning. Right now, I'm on my laptop with all of this wiring, trying to learn how to edit an audio file. And there's several videos on how to do it online, but they're all like 40 minutes each. So I'm gonna be here all day. I spent the last three hours learning how to edit these files. And now it's 7 o'clock in the morning and I haven't gotten any sleep. But I'm going to get back to this as soon as I get some rest. 
I'll see you guys tomorrow or whenever I wake up. Hey guys, so it is Tuesday now. Hey baby. Lily wants to say hi. <laughs> Lynn, how you doing? <laughs> And I am in my home office. Today I'm going to be just learning how to edit. One of my strategies right now when learning how to edit is obviously to write everything down. This notebook is literally where I write everything down when it comes to like my extracurricular activities. Uh oh. Go get it. So for example, this is all of this stuff that I know about ACX and what you need such as like audio equipment in order to succeed, um, the people that I follow in order to learn about how to narrate and stuff like that. On this page, I'm going to write down what exactly it takes in order to edit an audio file. <laughs> transition hey guys it is Wednesday right now I'm in my bathroom because this is where I do my hair and makeup in the morning um, today I have to get ready to do a separate video not this video that you're watching right now but a different video that's going to come out on the 9th a company actually reached out to me and they wanted me to review their product and put it up on my YouTube channel so this is actually going to be my first ever like really big sponsored video so for this portion of the video i would really like to do my makeup and hair with you guys i haven't curled my hair in a really long time so i think that's what i'll do okay this is after this is before i think that they both look good it's just i'm just in this mood rather than this mood right now while we're here and while i'm getting ready for a youtube video um, I think that I just want to say that if anybody is thinking about starting a YouTube channel, whether it's for their business or just as a hobby, go ahead and start your YouTube. I don't know what you guys are waiting for. Now is the time. Having a YouTube has become just as common and mainstream as having a Twitter or a uh, Discord or any live streaming service. That's my cat in the background. <laughs> I actually wish that I would have started a YouTube sooner, more like when I was in college because in college I would do something different every single day so I know that my vlogs would have been 10 times better in college. One of the biggest reasons why I didn't start a YouTube when I was younger was because I didn't have any of the equipment that I thought that I needed and back then when I was like 18, 19 years old the camera quality on phones used to be like really really bad but nowadays you can use your phone to edit videos and shoot videos the video that is my most popular on my channel the one that has like half a million views that i filmed on my camera and i have an android i don't even have an iphone 
And I edited that video for free on an app called InShot. So it's not like I was using fancy equipment. You do not need fancy equipment in order to be successful on YouTube. Another thing that I learned doing YouTube is that you actually really don't need a lot of subscribers in order to start making money. You do need at least a thousand subscribers to apply for the Google AdSense thing where Google directly pays you for how many views you get on YouTube. But as far as sponsored videos, you don't need any sort of subscriber count in order to work with brands. Um, all you need to do is basically like email them if you're interested in working with them. But my main takeaway is you don't need a lot of subscribers to start making money off of YouTube and you don't need um, the fanciest equipment to start recording or editing your videos. The only other thing that I wanted to mention while I'm doing my hair is that I am actually starting a business. It's going to be a small local business, nothing crazy. For my boyfriend's birthday, I made some chocolate covered strawberries for him and I had so much fun making those chocolate covered strawberries and ever since I've been obsessed with making them. So I posted some of my trials and errors on Facebook when it comes to making chocolate covered strawberries and I've gotten a lot of feedback saying that like, oh, I would totally buy that. Like, are you gonna sell soon? And people inquiring about it. So I'm like, at first I was making them because I thought it was fun and I was doing it as a hobby. And then I started thinking like, okay, maybe I should look into this. And then I subscribed to this girl's um, YouTube channel and she was making chocolate covered strawberries as well, but she was also making content around chocolate covered strawberries. And in her YouTube description box, she had affiliate marketing by Amazon as well as her own Etsy account. So I know that not only is she making um, money off of the baked goods that she sells, but she's also making money off of strawberry content in general. I think Lily wants me right now, but um, just to wrap up this portion of the video, she's so cute. I am so sorry. She is so cute. Okay, so just to wrap up this portion of the video, I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm probably going to be making a couple of batches of chocolate covered strawberries, maybe even some cocoa bombs, and I'm definitely going to be making a new TikTok, but I'll have all of that in a different video because it's just like a lot to explain and it deserves its own video, so I'll get back to you guys on my little projects that I keep doing. I'll see you guys later.